Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a crop that uses your entire field and will leave no space unused. The first thing you're going to need is your foraging level, level 9 or better. Uh, if you don't have that yet, it's not a big deal. Uh, it takes a little bit of while to prepare for this, so you will probably raise your skill. So this is done by using rain totems uh, to water your massive crop, uh, seeing as there's just not enough time in a day to water at all, uh, regardless of how you do it or what watering can you have. It works out to a total of a little over 3,200 plants, depending on what you have in your field and what your layout is. Uh, so I'll show you how to make these rain totems. Rain totems are made out of hardwood, truffle oil, and pine tar. Uh, you can set yourself up quite nicely to start farming and foraging for this stuff. Hardwood can be farmed regularly in the secret woods or whatever it's called uh, up here in the corner above the wizard's tower. Uh, you need a steel axe to get through the log initially to gain access. Uh, but once you're in, it's a eternal source every day for hardwood. Also, you're going to want to kill all the slimes in here because uh, you're going to need uh, their slime ingredient to make one of the other ingredients. Next you're going to need pine tar which comes from a tapper. A tapper as you can see is made from two copper bars and 40 wood. Uh, you're going to want to make at least five of these uh, because you need five pine tars for every one rain totem you're going to make. Uh, I've put them all up around this pond here uh, because it's out of the way of the farm and I don't really have to worry about them down here. I don't have to cut them down when I want to do my crop and they're conveniently close to where I farm my hardwood. So The last ingredient can take a little bit of work to make. It's truffle oil. Now truffle oil comes from truffles. Truffles come from pigs, which are these little guys here. Uh, to get pigs you need to have a fully upgraded barn. Uh, so you build your barn initially and then do two upgrades on it. Uh, then you buy some pigs from Marnie, just south of your farm at her ranch. Uh, then as long as you feed them and uh, give them an occasional pet or whatever it is you do to them, they will find you truffles throughout the day as they're doing now. Uh, once you start collecting these truffles, you put them into an oil maker, which is this thing here. It only takes a couple hours to make a truffle oil out of a truffle. Uh, the oil make maker itself is somewhere. It's here. So you need 50 slime, 20 hardwood, and 1 gold bar. Gold bar obviously comes from gold ore. You probably have some of that lying around. Uh, both the hardwood and the slime come from the secret woods. Uh, the pine tar probably takes the most time to farm, so I would get started on that right away. Uh, and then as you start gathering the hardwood, you'll probably get the ingredients you need. Well, you will get the ingredients you need for the oil maker. Uh, and then you're mostly set up. Um, and saying that, your foraging skill will go up too as you're farming uh, the hardwood because chopping wood raises your foraging skill. So spend some time <coughs> getting the required ingredients. You need one rain totem for every day your crops need to be watered. So depending on your crop, it's anywhere from 5 or 6 days to 30 days if you want to do the full month worth. Okay, so once you're a few days away from the month you're going to do your ginormous crop in, you want to start uh, preparing your field, clearing it of anything and everything uh, as much as you can because you really have a lack of time when it comes down to uh, preparing your field and getting it seeded. Uh, as you can see I have 28 rain totems, one for every day of the month. That should be more than enough as it naturally rains throughout the month for a few days. So I'm just going to clear out everything, crops, scarecrows, sprinklers, it's all got to go. I don't know how to remove those. There. So I've decided I'm going to do cranberries for my crop, for my monster crop. Uh, it was a choice between that and pumpkins. Uh, I do think there's a little bit more money in cranberries in this case. Uh, the profit margins are pretty close for either one given the amount of time you have. Uh, it is worth it to use fertilizer or speed grow uh, as long as it doesn't take more than two extra days to uh, apply either of those otherwise your profit margins really start to dwindle. Uh, I'm not going to use either of those I'm just going to go straight cranberries and try and get four or more harvests out of it. Realistically probably four. Okay it's now the last day of summer my field is entirely clear. Um, I've got my food 
coffee, everything I'm going to need. Uh, I know what kind of seeds I'm going to do. As I said, cranberries. So I'm just going to turn in for the night and then get up and start hoeing away at my field. Okay, so first day of the month. Uh, it's important to just start hoeing away as quick as you can. Uh, I'm going to start going in my infamous pattern here that I like so much. Uh, of course, not leaving any space behind because we want to try and get the entire field or as much of it as we can uh, with this crop. A little bit of stuff sprung up overnight uh, as it often will. Uh, that's okay, you just work your way through it bit by bit. You'll also notice I've locked my animals in the barn. Uh, they tend to get in the way uh, and it gets very annoying when you're trying to do an entire field. Okay, now that I've got a little bit of my field done uh, and it's 11 a.m., the store is going to be open, so I'm going to run over there and grab my seeds while I have the chance. The last time I did this, it was about 3,200 seeds, a little bit less. Uh, I don't believe I had my fence up for my pigs then, so it's going to be less than that, but I'm going to go with 3,200 anyway. Okay, so once you've got your seeds, you're going to want to get right back to hoeing. Okay, so at some point throughout the day, you're going to want to stop hoeing and start seeding uh, because if you leave any ground hoed but not seeded, it might disappear overnight and that's certainly not something you want to have happen. Otherwise, you've got to re-hoe it all again and you're just wasting time. I like to stop around 4 o'clock or so and start seeding just to make sure I can get it all done. Uh, if I have time left over after that, I will of course start hoeing again. I just finished seeding for the first day. It's just after 12 a.m. Uh, when you're doing this, make sure you don't stay up too late. Uh, otherwise, you lose energy for the next day. Uh, not a big deal, but something you want to avoid. I managed to get uh, about 1,100 seeds down today, which is pretty good. I should do a little better tomorrow. Okay, it's now the end of the second day of planting. I planted well over 1,000 seeds today. I'm making good time on my schedule, so I should... Uh, quite easily have the rest planted tomorrow so in saying that I am going to check the weather before I go to bed on this night and if they're not calling for rain you want to use one of your totems to make it rain like so And then tomorrow, by the time you're done seeding the rest of your field, everything is watered already. So it's now 6.10pm on the third day. I have finished all my planting. Uh, everything is watered for the first time today thanks to the rain. So at this point, I just want to head into my house and check the weather for tomorrow. And if it doesn't say it's supposed to rain, we're going to make it rain. Yep, no rain in the forecast, so throw one of these down. Once you throw it down, you can pick it back up. Uh, it's weird the way that works, but you can still use it. Uh, hard to explain. You'll figure it out. Uh, so in saying that, now you just wake up every day, give you a field a once-over. Uh, check the weather. If it's not supposed to rain, make it rain. Do that until your crops are ready. Okay, so our first crop is now done and ready to be harvested. Uh, there is a bit of a method to doing this as well. Uh, basically, you want to just keep picking as quickly as possible, otherwise you won't have time to get the entire crop off in one day. Uh, and then you're going to lose out on crops by the end of the month. So you want to be very quick in doing this. Uh, as you can see, uh, as you're picking, the game is always paused. So you want to be picking as often as possible. Uh, for those of you wondering about scarecrows also, uh, I don't bother with scarecrows on a crop this size. Uh, they actually take up more room than uh, what the crows can eat in the, over the course of a month, so it's just not worth your time to put scarecrows down. So I just finished picking my berries, harvesting them uh, for the first day. It's 5.20 p.m. so I made pretty good time. Uh, yeah, so as long as you're fairly efficient uh, with your movement and everything, you shouldn't have a problem picking them all in one day.
Okay, so I just finished doing my final harvest of the season. Uh, I put them all in the bin. I've gathered them all for the month. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of them. There are, in fact, 20, 28,000 cranberries for the month. That should be worth quite a lot. I will throw those in the bin in just a few moments. Uh, a few things to take away from all this. Um, noting the date, it's almost the final day of the month. I did screw up uh, on my watering for one day. Uh, so if you don't screw up on your watering and you add some speed grow to the beginning, it would be worthwhile. You might get an extra harvest or two or three out of it, uh, which would be worth a lot of uh, money. Also, you cannot make it rain on days when there's festivals going on. There's two in fall, so don't even bother trying to make it rain. And every day, uh, make sure you stand outside if you have a lightning rod until lightning strikes it, and you can get a battery for every day that you do this. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this mass of cranberries into the bin. A legend achievement. <clears throat> okay, so we'll break it down. Okay, so the grand total of all these cranberries is 4,357,920 gold. Uh, that's pretty good for one season's worth of crops. Uh, I can't complain with that. Can't get any bigger crop-wise uh, that I can come up with, short of using a greenhouse or something. So that's going to be about it for this episode. Uh, if you liked or enjoyed it, feel free to hit the like button. Uh, if you really liked it and want to see more videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button. I put videos like this out every day or two, uh, depending on how much time it takes. Videos like this obviously take a little bit more time to make happen. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.